An overview of Boston Terrier Ear Cropping Boston Terriers are beloved dogs known for their distinctive tuxedo-like markings and friendly demeanor. However, one controversial topic that often comes up in discussions about this breed is ear cropping. In this article, we will delve into the practice of Boston Terrier ear cropping, exploring its history, procedures, benefits, and ethical concerns. The history of Boston Terrier ear cropping ear cropping is a practice that dates back to ancient times and was initially conducted for practical purposes. It was believed that cropped ears prevented a dog from being vulnerable to attacks and potential injuries during hunting and combat. But over time, ear cropping evolved to become more of a cosmetic procedure in certain dog breeds, such as Boston Terriers. Procedures involved in Boston Terrier ear cropping ear cropping involves the surgical removal of a portion of the dog's ear, typically to create an upright or pointed ear appearance. The procedure is usually performed when the puppy is around 8 to 12 weeks old. During the surgery, the ears are numbed with local anesthesia and the excess ear tissue is removed. The remaining ear is then bandaged to promote healing and maintain the desired ear shape. The benefits of Boston Terrier ear cropping proponents of Boston Terrier ear cropping argue that it enhances the breed's appearance, giving them a more alert and attentive expression. Additionally, some breeders claim that cropped ears can help prevent certain ear-related health issues, such as chronic infections and hematomas. However, it is important to note that there is limited scientific evidence to support these claims. Ethical concerns surrounding Boston Terrier ear cropping While there are those who see ear cropping as a harmless cosmetic procedure, many animal welfare organizations and veterinarians strongly oppose it. They argue that ear cropping is a painful and unnecessary surgical procedure, which subjects the dog to potential risks and complications. Critics also argue that altering the dog's natural appearance purely for aesthetic purposes is ethically questionable. The legal status of Boston Terrier ear cropping The legal status of ear cropping varies from country to country and even within different regions. In some places, such as parts of Europe, ear cropping is considered illegal and can result in criminal charges. In other countries, including the United States, the practice is permitted but closely regulated. It is essential for dog owners considering ear cropping for their Boston Terriers to familiarize themselves with the specific laws and regulations of their area. Alternatives to Boston Terrier ear cropping for those who are uncomfortable with ear cropping, there are several non-surgical alternatives available. Many breeders and owners opt for natural ears for Boston Terriers, allowing the ears to develop naturally without any intervention. Additionally, there are cosmetic techniques, such as using ear glue or weight-bearing methods, that can help encourage the ears to stand upright without surgery. In conclusion, Boston Terrier ear cropping is a contentious issue within the dog community. While it originated from practical purposes, it has evolved into a cosmetic procedure for certain breeds. The practice has both its supporters and critics, with each side having valid arguments. Ultimately, it is up to individual dog owners to carefully consider the ethical implications and potential health risks before deciding on ear cropping for their beloved Boston Terriers.